Hmm. We have a great bathroom renovation by Antonio to show you now. Take a look. This old bathroom had a tiled step leading into the tub area and into the shower. We gutted everything and went with a freestanding bathtub with this organic shape which creates the focal point for the bathroom. And then in the shower area, we ripped out the header part and it opens up the shower letting in more light and also shows off the beautiful tile work. And the floor tile was actually our inspiration for the room. It is porcelain and it has a little bit of striation giving the room just the right amount of pattern. Now for the double vanity, the homeowners wanted something a little bit taller to make it easier for them on their back. So we raised the counter and we added lots of storage and on one side of the vanity we had a little bit more space so we added another cabinet. Now I love the use of a big flat mirror over a vanity area. It really opens up the space. And again, the homeowners love their old light fixture, so we saved it and reinstalled it at the end. We had a little bit more room in our budget, so we splurged and went for a heated towel rack, which is hardwired into the wall so there's no cords or cables and makes it really streamlined. Great reno, and it just begs the question, what do you think of corner tubs? What do you do about a corner tub uh, if it's not working for you? In general, what do you guys think about corner tubs? They take up a lot of space and right. they look dated. Mm -hmm. Like there's not a lot of new exciting corner tubs. Right. Yeah. So it's nice to swap them out and reuse the existing plumbing. So that was really smart to put a mm -hmm. tub in the existing tub location yeah. or you can put a shower there and mm -hmm. do a really big shower because in the old homes they had corner tubs and they had little bitty dark, dark, dark showers which yes. didn't make a lot of yes. sense. You know my parents' master bath still has that corner Roman tub <laughs> yeah. and it was that built-in <laughs> kind of very grand, not that they ever use it but that built-in yeah. built really grand and the thing about corner tubs in in kind of the olden days yeah. is they used to build them and encase them so it took up even yes. more room uh, with a step yes, or you know yes, something yes. very something very Roman yes, um, yeah. what he did what Antonio did which was fantastic was he did a freestanding yes. in that same space so he didn't need to move the plumbing uh, and you still have that it's a little bit more contemporary it's a little bit cleaner line yeah. uh, and it's a space saver when you don't have that that encasing around it I have such good memories of my mom and dad's free um, it's not a corner tub but it's a wall it's encased at, at yeah. the yeah. wall and I'd walk up the steps and feel like I could die. Right. <laughs> As a little girl, I'm like, yeah. I'm swimming! Yeah. Yeah. But which it does is take a, up a lot of space. Which is a complaint, too, because a lot of people said they never use it because it took so much water yes. to fill it yeah. yes. that they always yes. felt badly. So half the time you go to clients' houses, and you know what would be in the tub? What? Plants. They put no. their plants in there and they that's how they water their plants. Oh, it does make sense. Yeah. So that is how those corner tubs are used. And meanwhile, they're squeezing into a little bitty bitty shower. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah make your space work for you. Let's